Okay, so good morning. And um, Monday, what is today? October 4th. And Wednesday is the new moon, which will be in Libra. And it's all about restructuring relationships, this new moon. But since we've got a couple days before then, what I thought I would do is today is kind of clear, clean and clear out. Mercury's in retrograde right now, which a lot of people are really get really freaked out when Mercury goes into retrograde, because what that means is Mercury is the planet of communication. And a lot of time, and when it goes into retrograde, sometimes communication feels like we're going through mud or computers back up and different things, you know, that just prevent us from communicating in the way we want to. That's the old perception of it, but I heard it restated to me a couple days ago as just a period where we're getting rewired. I love that. Um, it's like we are being asked to step back from our usual way of communicating so that we can get rewired from all of this. You know, we're talking, I've been talking and others have been talking about this ascended fifth dimensional energy that's so available to us right now. And every time Mercury goes into retrograde, it's a time to rewire ourselves, kind of like a contraction so that when it go, goes back into um orbit forward orbit which it's all illusion anyway it's always in forward orbit but it just appears to go in retrograde um then we can experience that expansion again in our communication so i have pulled some cards today to help us with this and the first one is the clear quartz so if you have a quartz available i have a big one here that's going to represent all of us and i'm also wearing a necklace which is made of quartz um, quartz is really good for helping you to clear, clear emotions, clear things. Um, and once you get clear to really shine all of the colors. So this is from the Doreen Virtue deck. And this is from Diana Cooper, Archangel Michael. Um, he helps us to clean out. I mean, I've been working with his energy or the energy of cleaning out for quite some time. And then Archangel Chamuel is the one that helps to bring in the love to our heart and help us communicate from our heart. So we'll, we'll open up so that we can, at the end of the meditation, ask him to come through and help us through the next few days when the new moon arrives. And then I just pulled a rabbit card from the Diana Cooper deck as well. Um, I wanted an animal and the rabbit and see how that's wide open heart and the rainbow energy, which signifies the, the quartz. And rabbits are more about joy and spreading joy through the land. Okay, so that's what today will be based on. So let's just start with feeling ourselves, the physical. So taking a few breaths to slow down. See if you can get a rhythm going with your breath where you're inhaling perhaps for two counts, holding for a count, exhaling for two counts, and holding. Or maybe you have a four two ratio that works for you, but some sort of ratio that's slowing down your breath and bringing your attention to the pause. The pause is just like the retrograde, space between things. And as you're also paying attention to the movement of the breath, begin to pay attention to your skin, the surfaces of the skin that are touching 
a chair or wherever you're sitting or lying. Some of you may lie down for meditation. If your feet are on the floor, pay attention. Just bring your attention to the bottoms of the feet. The skin that's touching the floor. And the top of your head, you can either touch it with your hand or you can feel, begin to tune in to the softness of the air in the room. Touching your head, your face, your shoulders, your arms, your torso, your sit bones. So the solidness of the bones And then connecting to the solidness of the earth below us. Beginning to feel and tune in to the force of gravity. It's pulling us down to the center of the earth, keeping us walking in this body on this earth. And as you inhale, see if your inhale can lift you up into and away from gravity, into the air, so you can begin to balance that polarity. And then the exhale connects you with the earth, the center of the earth, the gravitational force. And then we're going to draw a clear quartz, that quartz. So I'm going to hold up mine if you need a visual. We're going to have that quartz at the center of the earth and just seeing the reflection of all of those colors that when your quartz is clear, it's reflecting all of the colors, all of the notes. Remember that rainbow that was above the heart of the rabbit. So all the colors of joy. And then we're gonna ask that quartz that's at the center of the earth to move up and just come to our earth star chakra, which we've worked with this before. It's three feet below the surface of the earth, below your feet, below your sit bones. And then we'll bring that quartz up into the base chakra, which is just at the sit bones. And then we'll let it travel through the navel chakra, the sacral area, the navel area, the solar plexus. And the quartz will land in our heart. So there's still a tremendous quartz at the center of the earth, but another one or piece of that quartz in our heart, that crystal, that clear crystal. And we'll ask Archangel Michael to come in and help us brush off this whatever has collected from our bottom chakras from the more human aspect of this life to help us just clean that off. So I've worked with him or the energy of cleansing, if you don't particular connect with angels. You can just work with the energy of cleansing. And it's like a big vacuum that starts at the bottoms of your feet and begins vacuuming out any toxins that you've collected from your walk on this earth. Anything in your ankles, your legs, your knees, the joints are very important to clean out. 
So I'm seeing the quartz even going to our joints. There's a quartz in the ankle, a crystal in the knee, in the hip bones. And Archangel Michael's just using the vacuum to help clean and clear these areas as well. Moving up into the hips, the belly, the heart, the rib cage, the bones, the shoulders, the shoulder joint, the upper arms, the elbows, the elbow joint, crystal clear the lower arms, the wrists, the fingers, all the joints in the fingers, little crystals there, helping to clean, and vacuum out. The crystal's gonna reflect the clarity as Archangel Michael or the energy of source cleansing is cleaning us out so that these crystals can reflect this clarity. And moving up to our throat, the backbones, all of the connective tissue between the backbones, front and back of the neck, the jaw, the tongue, the mouth, the teeth, all getting vacuumed. The nose, the sinus cavities. brain, vacuuming out any lower thought forms, any thought forms that do not serve us anymore, especially in terms of relationship. So we'll clean out from the, all of the organs, the brain, the heart, the liver, the gallbladder, the kidneys, the intestines, all of the other organs, any that I didn't mention, we're all getting cleaned out every cell, every nucleus in the, our body, vacuuming. Asking Archangel Michael or source energy to clear out anything that's standing in the way of having the kinds of relationships that we want to have, any beliefs. And it might be a relationship with people, with work, with money, what is it that needs a good cleaning and clearing? Let's pick one thing to represent all clearing. One thing that you specifically want to direct and clean out the belief system surrounding person, place, or thing. All of this old toxic belief is getting vacuumed out of your pores. And then like a little blow dryer, or you might think of it in terms of after somebody mows the lawn and they blow away all of the grass, it's, where it's not loud like that. It's just a gentle blowing breeze. You could see it as a breeze or a swirling soft energy, a swirling wind. Just cleaning out the debris, the rest of the debris and shining up all the multifaceted crystals. so that we can bring that issue, that person, place, or thing that we would like to open up to a new way of being with, in relationship with. Bring that into the crystal clear heart now. And we will ask Archangel Chamuel for the energy of love, you can think of it as the, coming from the cosmic heart. Venus is considered the cosmic heart. So one or all of those, source energy, Chamuel, Venus, the cosmic heart. Just 
Just coming in now and rewiring. Remember the rewiring with the mercury being retrograde. Rewiring the energy in our hearts so that we make a space to open and be in new relationship with whatever we have chosen to represent today. And we'll ask for Chamuel to help us transform or the energy of the cosmic heart to help us transform the old beliefs of lack surrounding this, of not being enough, whether it's projected upon yourself or another. Whatever the source of that cause of that belief, whether it's inherited, it's an ancestral belief, it's something that was imposed upon you in this lifetime, it could be something that you're picking up on from mass consciousness, wherever this belief is coming from that's blocking the abundance and joy will bring in the rabbit, the purity of your relationship with what you have chosen to work on. Clearing that out, rewiring creating a space for the new belief. What is that new belief? What would you like to believe in terms of your relationship with what you have chosen to work on? And let this crystal quartz reflect all the colors of this relationship. Maybe there's one that stands out, a particular color. If you're seeing a lot of blue, it could be that you're still being cleaned out. Blue is the color of Archangel Michael. Let's see if we can melt down this color into the color of the fifth dimensional energy of the heart, which is clear with an aura of pink. So that quartz in your heart, let its clarity shine in an aura of pink around it. See if you can relax into the vibration of this clear pink. And let this color infuse the relationship you have chosen. And what works really well, we'll ask Archangel Michael to cut any cords that are still attached to the old beliefs surrounding this relationship. And then we'll let Chamuel draw figure eight, like an infinity symbol around whatever it is that, re that represents this relationship. And this crystal clear pinkish bordered color is going to travel around us, intersect in the middle, travel around the other person, place or thing, and then intersect in the middle, crossing like the number eight, the infinity symbol, so it wraps around us, it wraps around this issue in front of us and crosses in the center. 
so that we are engaging in a different kind of way. We'll ask the central sun and the cosmic heart to bring the energy into this place where this energy intersects between you and this relationship. And just feel where a couple of weeks ago we also worked on a note, like singing a note very loudly, singing your note and letting another person, place or thing be exactly what they are in vibrating to their tone and just feeling the harmony of allowing another person, place or thing and accepting their note as part of our harmonics without interfering with our note, our sound. And we're going to let these harmonics settle in the center of this infinity symbol and move down to the center of the earth and spread through the ley lines. The rabbits are going to run and help us spread this love, this joy through the ley lines. And we're going to ask the Libra new moon coming on Wednesday to help us open to this new way of being in relationship. And just pay attention for the next couple days. If any old thoughts come up, ask them to be vacuumed out or cut the cord with them and consciously bring in this new belief, this new way of expanding, this new way of being in harmony, the sound, the colors, whatever works for you to help you reconnect with this moment that you're in right now as you walk through the next couple of days. So we can assist this energy of the new moon to help us be in a higher vibration with this relationship. Breathe in that intention. Let it fill the room that you're in right now. It fills your body, it fills the room. It extends into your aura, your space. And you begin to become aware of the space that you're in and bringing this new intention into this space, this new belief, this new relationship of being with yourself. Maisie's just drinking some water right now, if you can hear that, my dog. So she's reminding us to bring in the water to help us cleanse. So drink a lot of water. For the next couple days as you're clearing out the debris from this old belief and allowing the space for this new. And you can let your eyes open if they've been closed and see what's around you. There's a nice bright light has come in behind me. The sun is shining now. So there's the cloud, the overcast has come up, it's cleared. So keep breathing, keep allowing this vibration to come in and travel, put the intention. If you have a quartz, let the quartz remind you, put the intention into the quartz, but it's, it's being held here in this quartz for all of us, anybody that's watching this video. And thank you, thank you, thank you. And namaste.